Is your new Surface device stuck at 80% battery no matter how long you have it on charge for? What is up everybody, it is AJ here and in today's video we're going to understand why your Surface device won't go past 80% battery, how to turn this feature off when you need to get 100% out of your device and of course why this feature is actually a good thing. Of course, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you want to supercharge the way you use your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. That being said, let's get into this. Let's start by looking at why your Surface battery won't go past 80% charge. So as we all know, batteries, they tend to degrade over time and after a year, two, three, four years, you don't get anywhere near as much battery life as you did when your device was brand new. So to help combat this and increase the overall lifespan of your battery, Microsoft has introduced a new feature to their Surface devices called Surface Smart Charging. And this basically looks at the way you use your computer and it turns on when it thinks it's going to be beneficial to saving your battery life. You might already be familiar with the concept of smart charging if you've got a smartphone like an iPhone or an Android. And you may have noticed that overnight when you've got your phone plugged in, it may pause or it may triple charge to make sure it doesn't overcharge when it's plugged in for extended periods of time. Surface Smart Charging is a very similar concept except for the fact that it's on your laptop and not your phone or your tablet. When does Smart Charging actually turn on on your Surface device? There's really two main scenarios that Microsoft has called out where Smart Charging is going to turn on. The first is when your device is plugged into charge for prolonged periods of time. So it could be plugged into charge primarily for two, three, four, five days, a week or longer, where the computer knows that your typical habit is always having it plugged into a wall charger. And there's very little chance that you're going to run that battery down more than a couple percent. And what the computer does is it turns on smart charging to block it from overcharging and it stops it at 80% because your typical usage is showing that you're always near a charger. And the second time smart charging will turn on is when your device really runs at elevated temperatures. So when it starts to get really, really hot, smart charging will turn on to preserve the battery life and overall battery capacity on your PC. One thing I want to point out is that you cannot actually turn smart charging on by yourself. It is a computer generated thing once it understands your usage over a couple of days and then it will choose whether it needs to turn it on or not. In my experience, I found that once I've turned smart charging off or once I've paused it, it took about two or three days of constant charge for smart charge to turn itself back on. And I couldn't find any manual way of turning that feature back on. We just basically had to let a few days go past and then the computer realized, hey, I'm plugged into charge most of the time. I'll turn smart charging back on. Now that we know what smart charging is, how can you actually tell if smart charging is turned on on your device? Well, it is pretty simple. When you plug in your Surface device to charge, you notice that over your battery icon in the bottom right hand corner, there'll be a little heart symbol above your battery icon. And if you hover your mouse over that, it'll also say smart charging is turned on. The other way to know if smart charging is turned on is actually going into the Surface app on your computer. And here you have a couple of different options. The second one on the right hand side is of course called Surface Smart Charging. And then you can see here whether this feature is turned off or if you want to pause the feature. I haven't found any way of permanently disabling smart charging on your Surface device, but if you do want to turn it off for a short period of time, go into the Surface app and simply hit the pause button, and this is going to pause Surface smart charging, and it's going to let you charge up to 100% on your battery. It would be nice if we did have the option of, you know, a bit more manual intervention, but right now you can go into the app and you can hit pause, and then if you want to turn it back on, well, you just have to wait a few days for your computer to realize that you always need charge and then it will automatically turn itself back on. One thing I do want to note is that because this feature actually turns on automatically and by itself, you might be sitting at home for a couple of days or week or longer where your computer is just happily sitting at smart charge at 80% and then one day you may have to go out. You do have to remember before leaving to turn off smart charging and let your computer charge from 80 to 100%. Otherwise, if you just grab your computer while it's been smart charging and you head out, you're only gonna have a maximum of 80% battery life. Now, this hasn't been an issue for me yet, but I can see some people getting caught out by it. So that's just one thing to note that if you do spend most of your time always plugged in and you are gonna spend a day out with your device, make sure just before you leave, turn off smart charging and let it fully charge from 80 to 100%. So there you guys have it. That is why your Surface device is only running to 80% battery capacity. Why it's actually a good thing because Microsoft is trying to extend the overall battery life of your device and of course how you can pause it. I think it's actually a really cool feature and it shows that Microsoft is trying to improve the overall battery life and life of your Surface device. 
I do think there are some tweaks and things that we're going to see along the way, and I'm really excited to see what these do look like. But of course, let me know what you guys think of smart charging in the comment section down below. Of course, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you want to supercharge the way you use your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.